Hey everybody, this is Zero for another Zero Gunplay Review. In this episode, we're doing the Gunner Switch Verter, or Swat Rata, depending on how you want to pronounce it, and I know I'm birching the German language, so I apologize. So I'm just going to call it by its English name, translation, The Black Knight, because obviously it's supposed to be designed after a Black Knight. This is from the Gundam Bill Fighters manga spinoff, Amazing Ready, and this is the precursor to the Denial Gundam, so which is one of my top and favorite Gundam designs and Gundams of all time. The problem is, the Black Knight does not reach the level of the Denial Gundam. For a lot, and I do mean a lot, of reasons. So, let's get into the review and talk about this awesome Gundam whose potential was cut short by a very painful flaw. So... Let's get into the review. So, this is a Black Knight with almost everything on it due to a recent accident, namely like five seconds ago, when I was trying to fix a light. The other hands kind of scattered to the winds. <laughs> so, it comes with a bunch of other hands. So, I apologize if you're looking, oh, where's the other hands? Did he have, you know, did he have build it? No, no, no. I, the hands just kind of scattered to the four winds. So, yeah. There's a lot more hands that come with it because being a predecessor to the Denial Gundam who shares parts with the build burning entire line, you're going to have some extra hands. Also, it came with a bunch of extra parts, which are the backpack, the shoulders, and I think parts of the waist from the build burning slash dry burning slash Tamaki burning Gundams. So, yeah, if... If you have enough skill or enough imagination, you can kind of shoehorn a weird hybrid of the two. I wouldn't recommend it due to the major flaw in this thing, because the build burning, the atomic key burning, and the tri burning all have the same positive trait. You know, a good waste. So let's talk about the major flaw here. I'm not going to even talk about the sticker sheet, which is obnoxious, but we're just going to talk about the major flaw here. The waste. The both red parts. This entire section here is jank hot garbage you can blow on it and it will fall apart it's not a solid build and I love saying that a lot of my Gundams are solid builds but this wasn't you and you see the box with all these cool poses and you bring after you build it you go that's not how it goes I want it to be like that you can get into these really cool poses and all that but you can't because it will literally top over. It can't even hold its own weapon <laughs> while if you don't glue the waist together. Maybe if you hard tack it or, you know, put some top coat on it to solidify it more, maybe it would stand a chance. But I did not have that kind of patience, so I glued it. This waist is never bending from either from the top or the bottom. This entire red section is solid now because, oh my goodness, you could not bend it. You couldn't move it. You couldn't do anything. Hell, you couldn't even have it stand up properly for a bit because it would top over. Because the backpack made it too heavy and it would kind of sustain its own weight. Also, when you're trying to move the legs, there's a good chance, all the times I did it, they will pop out. Like... Like, if you move these, this joint a little too much, the hips will pop out. So you have to now reattach the legs again. And this hurts because I wanted to love this thing. It's based off one of my favorite Gundams, the Denial Gundam. It has a lot of cool features, like the backpack itself is actually a pair of swords. That is awesome. Which attaches to the hands, which uses a very... Master grade system that it's it's still a sandwich style like all a lot of high grade weapons are, but there's actually a little piece of plastic that sticks out that connects to the handles which are connected to the backpack to the back guard, which is awesome. These two little pieces they pop off and you can lay down. No, you sit up. Forget what I said. You sit up. You don't deserve it now. Because you fall over too often and you're more of a hassle than you should be. You should be awesome and not a hassle. 
and can actually two of these little daggers here. Or you can put the, the wings slash swords into here and put it in the hands, which is awesome. Or combine the two swords into one giant claymore, which is awesome if it could sustain its own weight and not fall over. But it can't because Bandai kind of shoehorned in the waist. I'm like, seriously? I don't know if it's because the polycaps are old. I don't know if it's because the plastic is jank. I don't know. I do not know. And I am not the person who works at Bandai for these answers. So, you have issues with that? Talk to them because I can't. It bothers me even now. And again, I wanted to love this dude because I love the Denial of Gundam. Because it was a cool design. And surprise, surprise, it can actually stand up on its own and not worry about its waist, you know, falling over and breaking and it falling into two pieces, minimum. So, the positives. Well, it has a really awesome design. And while, yes, it does have a lot of stickers... They're not really necessary. They are quote unquote necessary for true color accuracy if you paint it. But honestly, I just use the stickers for the knees and the eyes. Oh, and the ankle armor right here and here. But other than that, I just took off the stickers. I, I didn't use the stickers, and I like the co design. I like the color scheme. It looks great. It is bad, but it looks good. Also, another bad thing: the neck doesn't bend. Like, that's it. <laughs> you can turn the head. You get, you know, right, left, up. Vaguely. But that's about it. You can't look down. So, in a little blurb in the box art, literally says, built to perfection. Um, Meiji, if this is your answer of perfection... You need a new dictionary because this dude is literally the opposite of perfection. It is a tire fire that looks really, really cool. I know, I just spent ranting almost this entire episode about how bad it is. <laughs> because there's not a lot of positives about it. The articulation is okay. But the joints are so stiff, posing is going to be a bit of an issue. And with that jank waist, when you have it you're not going to get a lot of poses out of it. And if you glue it down, you're not going to get any poses out of it because the waist won't move. So, articulation is bad. Stability in build is bad. There's not a lot of positives about this. So let's get into the last part and let's summarize this review because it's going to be like five seconds long. And let's call it an episode, people. So, the Black Knight. That. Sorry about that. The Black Knight. This is the weirdest Gundam I've built due to the fact that because I both hate the damn, the whole thing and I love the thing. I love it because it is a predecessor to the Denial Gundam and a descendant of the Cathedral Gundam, which, again, is the weirdest evolutionary line in, a mul in anything. It goes mid to long range, like all-around fighter, close range, pure fighter. I don't know where the stuff... The de-evolution began, but okay, cool. But the problem is, it has so many mistakes. They try to make it more, have a lot more articulation, and with doing that, you failed in the most basic things of having the Gundam stand up under its own weight. You can't get into good poses because it will fall. They got the design great. It looks awesome. It is possibly one of the best looking Gundams I owned. Minus a couple of the custom ones I built because I'm biased. But overall, this should be better. I expected better from Bandai. I do not know why. Because I have gotten some jank mobile suits from them. Like the Zagok and his wonky, those wonky legs. The Master Grade Astray. With its self-destruction abilities. So it's like, I should have known better. Or the gym sniper who can't really put that... The reticle right to its visor to make that really cool sniper position. 
shot, which is really cool looking. You would figure they would do better, but yet they keep letting me down. So, I honestly picked this guy up on Amazon because it was Amazon Prime Days, but you can pick this up. I think Big Bag Toy Store has it. You can pre-order it. And I, I think the U.S. Gundam Store has it pre-ordered. You can pre-order it. But like, like always, be careful of scalpers, price gouging. Uh, but if you like other Gundams that isn't this beautiful jank of a mess, check out our buddies at Galactic Toys. The link is down below. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Remember to hit that bell for notifications when I drop a new episode sometime later this week. And that's probably going to be on the Forbidden Gunner because I've been pushing that off for a couple of days. Or maybe the Reborns. I just got that in the mail. So I'll catch you guys later. And have a nice day.